World Menstrual Hygiene Day is observed on May 28. The main idea behind marking this day is to change the social stigma associated with menstruation. World Menstrual Hygiene Day 2020 theme, periods and pandemic. The idea behind choosing this theme is to highlight how the challenges faced by women during menstruation have worsened due to the ongoing pandemic. The date May 28 was chosen to observe the day because on an average, the menstrual cycle for most women is 28 days and the menstruation period for most women is for five days. Joining us to speak further in this is a medical doctor, Ugochi Ohajuruka. Thank you, Ugochi, for joining us. Thank you for having me. One of the quotes for today's poor menstrual hygiene is a problem. As a big polio, how true is this? Well, this is absolutely correct because uh, more than half of the world population are women. And in Nigeria, about 52% of our population are women. And a huge number of this statistic are in their reproductive age. So when girls are women in their reproductive age, are not able to manage their periods effectively with clean menstrual solutions, in privacy and dignity, with clean water, and adequate wash facilities. By that, I mean gender-friendly uh, wash facilities and having adequate disposal methods. It can lead to severe health uh, implications. For instance, they'll be vulnerable to pelvic inflammatory diseases and in severe cases, infertility. So it's a very serious issue. In a developing country like Nigeria, where sanitary parts are still expensive, and many people still use tissue and cloth, how do we improve awareness on hygiene? Yeah, through aggressive advocacy, I believe all hands should be on deck because menstrual health is a human rights issue and a cross-cutting issue that requires multi-sectoral collaboration. So the government, non-governmental organizations, donor agencies, should support innovative approaches that will lead to better programming and policies so we could tackle this public health menace. Now, many people argue the fact that the reintroduction of sexual health in our schools could also help fac facilitate this awareness. Do you agree with that? Of course, menstrual health is uh, a first uh, point of call in uh, sexual and reproductive uh, health rights and knowledge. So when we integrate menstrual health uh, knowledge and uh, hygiene education into our school curriculum, it will go a long way to educate the girls and even the boy child concerning the issue because the conversation should be open. Everybody should discuss this and we should have the basic knowledge that we require. And uh, uh, we've seen that there's a lot of uh, stigma and taboo surrounding this issue of uh, menstruation, which is why the conversation is not open. And that is what is uh, making our girls and women vulnerable to a lot of our uh, issues on ground. Dr. Gochi, thank you for your time and for your contribution on the news. Thank you so much for having me.